Hey guys, what's going on? Yeah, the truck's on the trailer. We're gonna ignore that. I'm waiting on a fuel pump. It broke down on me. Luckily, I had this bad boy. All right, so what I'm getting ready to go do is head down the street. Gonna go get a mini bike I built for a neighbor of ours. And he wants it to go a little bit faster and get a little more power out of that engine. So I ordered him a aftermarket carburetor and a straight pipe header. And we're gonna slap that on there and hopefully get a little more performance out of it. I'm gonna do a top speed run before and do a top speed run after. All right guys, let's get into it. Okay guys, I am actually gonna fix their trailer too. It has a flat tire. So I'm gonna start it on that and then do the mini bike. So we're doing two projects today. And I have to be at work at four, so you know be fun so what's going on with this this slides into this little slot on each side and the weld snapped on this side you see it right here this one not supposed to be loose so I'm gonna weld that real quick put it in place so I have to have it in place to weld it that way it's not weird and shifty all right so let's go and pop this bad boy in place and get back to it okay so I got it in place so I'm just gonna get the welder and weld the hell out of this here right here. And we should be good. I'm even, once I get this welded, I'll lift it up, weld this little strip right here. Get up in there so you can see it. All right, see that little gap right there? Fill that in with some weld and it should be good. Yeah, easy peasy. Let's get into it. Okay, so I got all the welding finished up. I got those pilot back in here. And yeah, pretty awkward. Okay. And all that should go on, no problem. Rim's got some rust. I'll try to weld it. Never tried re welding a rim, but I'm gonna clean that up and try to weld it real quick. Stop the leak. Okay, so right here is our little hole. We'll try to weld that up for him real quick and see if that fixes it. It probably should work. Okay, so I welded up the hole. It looks pretty good. 
nice and solid, no leakage coming from it. So that's a good, good weld. I actually plugged it. It's going to keep happening to him. He's going to get another hole there, probably another one there, another one there. It's like, because it's pretty rusted. So he's going to need to get a new rim. And I recommend, I'm going to tell him to get tires and rims. I think they're only like right around $70 a tire and rim. This side's not so bad. So maybe just one. and Or you can get both and then keep this one as a spare. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this back, grab that mini bike. We're done with it. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a top speed run from this speed bump to that stop sign down there. See the way down there. And see the top speed. Let's do it. According to GPS, this thing reaches about 35 miles per hour in that area. That's not bad. And it felt like that was about top speed, so it didn't really have much more. The clutch engages kind of rough, like it has a stall, a low, high stall speed. So I need to figure out that. So I'll probably look at the clutch. It probably needs grease or something simple. Um, but let's go ahead and start with replacing the exhaust and see how much power that gives us. And then we'll go to the carburetor. See how much of a change each of these mods do for this engine. Okay, so here's the exhaust kit we got. So it's just a little header pipe, the wrap for insulation so you don't burn your leg gasket it's pretty simple these are about 30 bucks depends on where you get them um, they're nice little shorty headers so we're gonna go ahead and install it header <laughs> it's a single I'm just saying headers because we're usually working on cars all right this thing's toasty so I'm gonna carefully remove those because I just took over a top speed run so yeah Let's get that exhaust removed, and hopefully this header pipe fits without any mods. Let's get into it. Okay, so there's that little header pipe. It is going to be blowing onto the metal, so it may discolor this a little bit, but that's not a big deal, because it's a uh, it's the stuff you have to deal with, because even if you like get a pipe that wraps around, it will still melt your plastic. This shouldn't affect the plastic at all. It's just gonna blow around the powder, original powder coat, which it may not affect it because it does have these little vents. I, you could take a piece of metal, get in here and bend this outwards a little bit if you want to, but I think this looks good and it's not gonna be written that much and you're not gonna notice. He may want the header wrap, but I think that's back far enough that he shouldn't need the header wrap because it looks way better with that. I might try to get him another cover because this cover's kind of got some paint on it, it looks like. I forgot about that. I was going to clean it and repaint it for him, but I forgot. I might try to throw a new cover on here for him. Um, now we're going to start up and see what it sounds like. So I've never used one of these exact headers. It's a shorty header. Let's do it!
Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to rip this carburetor off. It's literally the only thing we really didn't paint. So this whole cover um, is coming off and we're putting this carburetor kit. It's got the new grips. It came with a really cool, honestly, I really like the way that looks. Fuel filter. Um, there's your adapter to adapt this Makuni style carb on it. Actually, I don't want to say Makuni style because it's an actual Makuni. There, boom. These are pretty nice, very legit carburetors. We're running one of these on a mini, on two or three of our mini bikes, and even on the dirt bike that Jordan drives all the time. And the most we've ever had was we put cheap fuel in it and it built up in the bottom of the carb, and we cleaned it out, popped right over again. So he's got the gold kits, what we ordered for him to go with the yellow. It's gonna look really good with it. And I think it's gonna look really nice with this engine. It came with the jet kit, so we gotta jet it to whatever runs the best. So we get to play with that, that's fun. So let's go ahead and start tearing into it. Luckily we have a ton of room right here so we can unscrew the bowl and everything for the, when we have this carburetor installed. It's gonna be easy to work with. So yeah, let's get into it.
Okay, so I got everything pretty much installed. Got the filter, carburetor. I gotta put a hose in here. To fill, keep dirt out of there. Oh, goodness. All right, so I'm gonna test fire it, see if it actually does anything. See if I'm doing a tuning. All right, ready? Choke, choke. It may take a few pulls. Jet might be too small, it's in it. So that might be something to play with. Oh, did you tell switch off? Yeah. I don't think I unplugged anything. Oh, derp. I'm fucking retarded. I forgot to hook up the spark plug. Hey, man, I'm not even getting a sputter. It's like, come on, I should at least sputter. Alright, first pull, ready? Okay, so I got his aftermarket carb installed. This is the best way I could route the fuel line without interfering with fuel flow. I could probably route it around the backside, but then it's gonna mess with the choke lever back here. And I don't want anything blocking it. It may kink right here a little bit over time. I hope not, but this seems to be the best location for this fuel filter. I might try rerouting it over there, but I don't think that's going to be our best. This, in my opinion, seems like the best solution because it's start. It's got a slight kink there, but it's not enough to slow down the fuel flow. But overall, the carburetor is installed. It seems to be running great. I do have to put a pipe in, uh, not pipe, but a piece of hose in here and put a breather valve on it, and that's about it for him. I can go drop this bike back off and. I think he'll be happy with it. We'll do a top speed run before we take it back. And torque, and I'm gonna grease the clutch. But overall, this bike's looking pretty good. Definitely looks sportier. It's got like that pipe. The pipe kind of just blends in with the rest of it. But that carburetor sticks out. That's a showpiece look there. That looks nice. And these are only about $80, really. That's a pretty cheap upgrade for a mini bike. And one, this is about the top. How would you word that? The cheapest mods you can do without spending money on like billet flywheel, billet rods and all that good stuff. Once you start getting into the inside of the engine, that's when it gets expensive. Then you're like talking hundreds, thousands, and it's like, honestly, it's a mini bike and you're just gonna be cruising, going a little off-roading. This is plenty for most people. Unless you're wanting to like go crazy, this is it. Maybe eventually we might build one of those crazy bikes once we get a little bit bigger, but right now, this is the most we can afford on upgrades and stuff, and if anybody's ever wanting to sponsor us and give us some fast parts, I'm up for that. But this is a pretty cool build. We are gonna be starting to build the giveaway mini bike pretty quick. 
We've been kind of busy, but the giveaway bike is coming soon. We haven't quite decided. Keller will probably put a poll on one of the channels, either Facebook or one of the places there. Maybe TikTok, something like that. We'll put a poll on there so you guys can get on there and vote. And on the color, we're going to be painting our custom bike. It is going to be pretty cool. It's going to be a Chaos Customs bike. We're going to just give it away to whoever bought merchandise from us. Which, thank you for anybody that bought anything from us. And, yeah. Let's go ahead and take this bike for a test drive. I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, so I just uh, cleaned up the torque converter. It had uh, excess grease. I, I think I over-greased it when I rebuilt it and cleaned it all up and put new parts in it. So I think that's all the issue was. So let's fire this bad boy up. One pull was really good. Way better. Clutch and gauge is pretty good. So let's let's go. And I gotta go get a filter for the oil. Uh, what's that? Uh, vent. The oil vent. We'll go down to O'Reilly's and check it. I need to get a helmet real quick. Ready to take it for a test drive. Sweet. Alright, let's take it for a test drive. Okay guys, that is it for today. I got that mini bike running great. So, um, hit that like button, subscribe. We are gonna be getting all these bikes cleaned up and ready for a ride, probably tomorrow. So I'm gonna be doing all this in the morning. Fun stuff. All right guys, hit that like button, subscribe. I know I already said it, but come on, help me out. Hit that like button, subscribe. See ya.